Oh hi, in this video we're going to look at how to change between the iPhone's light and dark modes. In a previous video I changed the mode by use of environments dark mode but here I'm going to use a slightly different approach using SwiftUI's preferred colour scheme to create this app which allows you to switch between dark and light mode like this. So if this is something you want to learn how to do let's get started. Okay as you can see I've begun with a basic Swift UI app. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some state variables. State variables differ from standard variables in that when their values change, they can automatically trigger an action in your program. So let's create three different variables for this app. And we're going to create the first one. will be for the navigation title. So we're just going to call that for now light mode. The next variable is going to be Boolean variable so we can switch between the different modes. So we're just going to set that as X and to true. And the next and last variable is going to be one for the colour, so colour equals, and we're going to set that to colour scheme. Dot light. Okay, so that that's that bit done. Okay, next between var, body, and the text, we're going to put a navigation view. Just another bracket down there. I'm going to set the title to dot navigation title. And I'm just going to set this to the variable mode name. Okay, so let's just see what that looks like. Okay, so we've got our navigation view set up. We've got it switched to light mode. The next thing we need to do is create our button and a label so that we can move between the two different views. Below navigation view, we're going to type button. Use a normal bracket. Delete that. And in there, we're going to add an action. Comma. And then we're going to also create a label. Okay, I'm going to take out the text, the low and the padding. Okay, so now we've created a structure for our button. What we can now do now is add some mechanics and some style to our button, which is what we're going to do next. So all we need to do is just type in in action. We're going to put if x equals true. Then our mode name is going to be dark mode. And then color is going to be equal to dot dark. Type self dot x dot toggle to be able to switch between the two views. Okay, and then we're going to type else brackets mode name equals light mode. Color equals dot light. And then again, we're going to put the toggle in there. Okay, so the toggle just allows us to switch between true and false, the variable that we set to X. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is just set up our label. So we're going to type in text. And 
I'm going to change that to switch color scheme I'm going to set the foreground color to dot white I'm going to set font to dot system size I think I'll choose 30 I'm going to set the padding to 20 let's put that in the brackets just a, a point of interest you really need to be careful which brackets you're using especially in the button because there's two different types of brackets that are being used I'm going to set the background color. I think I'll go for blue. And I'm going to go for corner radius just to make that button look a bit neater. And we'll set that to 90. Okay, let's just run that and see what we've got. Okay, great. So we've got a navigation view with light mode. We've got our button set up. When we press the button, yeah, nothing at this stage happens. It switches, the navigation tile switches between light and dark mode, but the app itself doesn't switch between light and dark mode. So all we need to do, very simply, we just need to add, at this point in the program, dot preferred color scheme. I'm going to use the variable that we used before on this, so the one we call color, which stores the value of which mode we want the program to be in. And let's just run that now. Fingers crossed. Yeah, great. So that works now. Everything works fine. We press the button, it switches between the two modes. So once again, I hope that's been useful to you. And thanks very much for watching. Thank you.